Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to day 10, yes, 10 of our story time with the amazing adventures of Oliver Hill. I'm Havilah Malone. I am author of this book along with Diane Lampy, where we bring the 17 principles of success from thinking grow rich author Napoleon Hill to children of all ages. And I'm so excited that you're joining me today for story time where we're doing 17 stories over 17 days because even though you're shut in, that doesn't mean you can't have a little fun and learn at the same time. So today we're doing the story called No Fish Today. And this story teaches the principle, and this is principle number 10, of accurate thinking. Mm, can we use a little bit of that? <laughs> it says, when the school bell rang at the end of the day, Oliver watched as the older boys passed his way. As usual, they were heading to their fishing spot all the way at the end of the abandoned lot. The lot was dense and full of trees. You couldn't even see beyond the leaves. Oliver wondered what they really did out there. We're going fishing, the older boys would say. But no poles or fish were seen day after day. Kids looking on let their imaginations take flight and instantly replied with their own insight. They go into the woods to set large fires. No matter what they say, they're all big liars. They sneak into coops and steal chicken eggs. They even capture frogs and bite off their legs. Oliver said, no, that can't be. I'll find out for myself. Just wait and see. Oliver followed the boys the very next day, making sure he stayed far, far away. He watched them go through the dense trees and some spots even crawling on their knees. It was hard to keep up, but Oliver wanted to know. As the journey went on, his curiosity started to grow. They reached a clearing at the end of the lot, finally arriving at their fishing spot. Much to Oliver's surprise, there were the poles waiting inside a small boat the boys called Pride. Oliver was happy when he saw what came next. They release each fish they caught in their net. He watched as the boys laughed and had fun and couldn't wait to tell everyone. Sometimes things aren't what they seem. These boys were fishing. Fishing indeed. Yes, this is No Fish Today. Teaching the principle of accurate thinking. So let's dig in a little bit more on that principle. There's understanding why things are done in a certain way so that you can understand how it helps you become better. Not jumping to conclusions or just following popular opinion. Gathering the facts in order to make an informed decision based on knowledge and or experience about any matter that is presented to you. So I have a question for you. What were some of the assumptions that the kids were making about the older boys? But what did Oliver do differently? And I want you to leave the answer to that in the comments below. And then my second question for you is, where are you making assumptions in your own life? And what can you do differently to help apply accurate thinking? Mm, I can't wait to hear from you and thank you so much for joining me for day 10 of story time with the amazing adventures of Oliver Hill and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow make the very best of your today because that's what we have have a great one bye